For the first time in its history, the Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima celebrated the May 13th anniversary of the 1917 Marian apparitions without the presence of the public due to COVID-19 concerns. Cardinal Antonio Marto, the Bishop of Liria Fatima, offered Mass today via live stream, calling for conversion and dedication to the Rosary in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Today's feast day marks the first of the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary to three Portuguese shepherd children. Joining me now on Skype from the National Blue Army Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima in Washington, New Jersey, is Dave Carollo, Executive Director of the World Apostolate of Fatima, USA. David, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Well, the global pandemic has impacted so many uh, of the ways that we live and traditionally celebrate now. How are you commemorating today here in the U.S.? Well, just like in Fatima, we had a virtual event, although our shrine here in Washington, New Jersey is 150 acres, more like a park. So people were on the grounds. We allowed that. Our gift shop is open. That's been that's been reopened recently, although I have to follow all of the rules. Uh, uh, our mass and our, of our devotions were virtual. Of course, we were, um, uh, you know, good, not as good as having the three to 5,000 people that would typically be here today, but uh, we had beautiful weather, but it, it is what it is. But it was good, and I think we reached many people virtually. So um, th this is what it is. It's kind of sad that, that we're in these times, and of course, that the shrine in Washington, or excuse me, in uh, uh, Fatima did not have uh, a, a crowd. Usually you can see you know, maybe a quarter of a million people there on a day like this. So uh, it was it was an interesting time. We're, we're in we're in an interesting time, I guess, is the way to put it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, despite these interesting times, though, what do you hope people will take away spiritually from this kind of virtual pilgrimage? Well, Tracy, I think, you know, the, the, I think people understand that, that that what we do is in our hearts, not necessarily in what we physically do. We come here, we pray as a group, and that's beautiful, as they do in Fatima. But it's in your heart. Many people who participated virtually, although I realize it's not the same, um, it's, it's your intention. God knows what we want. Our Lady knows. And I think maybe this time of deprivation, both from this and from the Mass and everything, is a time for us to reflect and really appreciate what we have in our faith and really yearn for it when, when, when it comes back, hopefully soon. And when it does come back, we have to embrace it very strongly. I think that's going to be the fruit of this difficult time. I truly do. Yeah, absolutely. David, can we talk about uh, World Rosary 2020? It's been described as a spiritual bouquet. Yes, yes. And that's a, that's an initiative of our, our, our organization worldwide, our international organization. We're doing it here, of course. Uh, we here in the United States uh, started this year with, uh, I, I had a conversation with a bishop uh, who's our Episcopal advisor, and he said, we have to have a 2020 vision this year for our faith. And I said, I love that. Well, we started sort of an initiative. And then this initiative came from our international group. And I said, this is wonderful. You know, so we, we're participating, as are many and other organizations. And I know this morning, I believe like 900,000 rosaries alone were offered to, uh, you know, to Our Lady as part of the spiritual bouquet. And there'll be more throughout the year. And of course, we're, you know, they're participating in other places. Um, it's available on our website uh, at uh, bluearmy.com, uh, World Rosary 2020, um, and and I and, and it's it's part of an initiative. Prayer moves mountains, and I think this is the time we have to pray more than ever. And Our Lady has a solution, and maybe that's why we're going through difficult times right now to wake us up again to that reality. Yeah, well said, David. Um, before we let you go, during this time of upheaval, I'd like to ask you, uh, what lessons are there from Fatima that we can apply now? Well, I think if you, you look 100 years ago, when uh, right after World War I, when the Spanish flu went through, uh, isn't it interesting, it's 100 years now, the Spanish flu went through that. And two of the people that died from the Spanish flu were the two youngest seers of Fatima, St. Jacinta and Francisco. Our Lady had said, when, when they asked, will we go to heaven? And she said to, to Jacinta and Francisco, you will come soon. And of course, Lucia, you would stay longer to make me known and loved. And they did. But Our Lady had asked, that they, well, are you willing to offer your lives in prayer and reparation for the conversion of sinners? And they said yes. And they suffered difficult deaths through this uh, during that pandemic. But they, they, just, they were just models of, uh, of prayer and offering their lives 
for the salvation of souls. And I think they did, they probably saved numerous souls as a, re, as a result of their sufferings and their offerings. So I think we can learn from that in this time of pandemic or in our lives in general with the little difficulties that we have, that we turn everything over and, and God is in charge. I think that's the important thing we should learn. Absolutely. Well, Dave, thanks so much for coming on. Really enjoyed this conversation with you. Stay safe. You too. Thanks, Tracy. Great to see you. Bye now.